and here we are back on the channel with another video and this time around I want to talk about what keeps people from buying an e-bike and I think most of us are going to say including myself the number one deterrent from buying an e-bike is the cost let's face it they're not cheap um, this day and age with the prices going up and they are going up unfortunately more and more it's harder it's getting harder anyway and harder to find anything that's decent for uh, under two thousand dollars and uh, that's hard to uh, come up with you know for uh, most people uh, you know everybody we don't just have two thousand dollars that we can throw around you know so but if we take costs out of the equation and that's not easy to do but for this sake of this video I want to take that out let's assume you do have enough uh, money to purchase a bike what then would keep you from buying an e-bike I think for me I, I, I think the uh, one that would if I was uh, guessing would be uh, the number one would be um, where to ride it as I adjust my mirror here the infrastructure is not the greatest and especially in some areas you know it's worse than others um, I think almost everywhere can use improvements and um, I think that's a big deterrent I think that scares off a lot of people you know on where they can ride and what happens is I think a lot of people don't want to get riding on the road let's say they're commuting or they want to use a but they'd like if they had a bike to use it to commute to work well especially if you live in the uh, bigger city you're gonna have the uh, you're gonna have the traffic right and all that going on and you got to kind of go right in with it so I mean I'd like to see and I know this is kind of like a pipe dream but I'd like to see it set up where we as bikers e-bikers bikers doesn't matter which uh, had our own uh, roads if you will you know and we were completely separate from the regular traffic I think that would be uh, that would be a, like a pipe dream but that would be what I would say would help get more people out there but uh, let me know in the uh, comments if you have a an idea of what would get people out there on the bikes because I think that like I say it can be scary if you're commuting I'm on some side streets right now but if you get out on the more main streets you know you're right in there with the traffic and even if there is bike lanes you know I can see where a lot of people are a little bit scared off from being there in that bike lane and having the cars whipping by you you know and uh you know it, it takes a little getting used to and uh can you imagine though if we had our own roads off of the road kind of like sidewalks where we're away from maybe even a little more off than the sidewalks where we're away from the traffic you know we follow along with the highway in our, in our own uh, path of road road if you will 
and uh, I think that would help. I think that would that would get a lot more people out on bikes because they wouldn't be nervous to go out riding and worry about traffic that they're having to deal with and and that kind of situation. That's just my what I see, what I think, because that's kind of how I feel in a way. You know, sometimes you know I wish there was back roads that I could take to get from point A to B, but sometimes there's not. And you gotta get right in there with the traffic, you know. And uh, that's why uh, sometimes I think you need a little bit faster bike. Because if you do have to get in with the traffic, you wanna kinda get in there and kinda get through intersections and such with uh, being able to get through it, you know, uh, efficiently and, and kind of quickly to get you know back into uh, hopefully safe ground you know so that's my uh, guess is that I think besides cost which I think we all would probably or most of us would agree that the cost is the big one but I think uh, um, you know safety on where we can ride it safely um, I think that that is probably a little bit scary for some people. So uh, as I say, uh, let me uh, know in the comments your take on that. Is it, is it that or is it maybe the people are a little bit afraid because the e-bikes are a little bit heavier than a traditional bike or they're, you know, because they're heavier, maybe they're a little bit more difficult to balance. Um, but I think, for me, I think uh, my guess would be uh, where to ride it, infrastructure. It's okay if we have bike paths, but let's face it, we don't have bike paths that go everywhere. And um, so, you know, what if you wanted to go downtown, for example? That's a scary thing, you know. For a lot of people, so that's my that's my take on it. I think it's the uh, infrastructure for bikes. It's just not there yet. You know, I don't know if it'll ever be there. I'll probably bang this drum forever and ever, and it'll never get to where I would like to see it. Um, but you know, I could be wrong, but. Like I say, let me know in the comments your take on that. Um, do you know anybody that's kind of up in the air as to buying an e-bike and what is their reasoning for still being on the fence and not wanting to get one? Is it the price? Probably. But after that, is there anything else that bothers them that um, keeps them from purchasing an e-bike? You know, maybe there's some people that just don't want one, but I mean, the people that do want one but aren't quite there yet to getting one you know what what is keeping them from getting an e-bike So that's going to do it for this video on the channel. I just wanted to talk a little bit about what keeps you from getting an e-bike, from buying an e-bike. And how do we fix that? So like I say, thank you for joining me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to 
when the next video will be up on the channel hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and coming up uh, later this week look for uh, some uh, at least a couple of videos that are going to be premieres and I haven't done a premiere in quite a while but I'm going to be premiering doing a couple of premieres with the new uh, Lyric Graffiti so look for that it's going to be the videos will go up at I'm not exactly sure which day of the week it's either going to be it's going to be later in the week like Wednesday Thursday Friday somewhere there two of those days uh, probably and I'm not sure which ones yet uh, because I still don't have the bike but uh, look for that later in the week towards the end of the week and then uh, the times are going to be uh, I'm going to have the premiere at five o'clock local time here Pacific so that'll be eight o'clock Eastern time and so uh, if you want to watch that um, look for that uh, one of the days coming up uh, at least one of the days it's probably going to be a couple of different ones uh, through uh, toward the end of this week so that's going to do it for this video once again thank you for joining me and uh, if you have any comments uh, please leave them below and thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care